Hi guys, so I'm gonna be talking to you today about how I study astrology. <laughs> I made a playlist for all of my astrology related videos. Um, as you guys know, I've been I've been studying astrology for maybe about two, two years um, already. And it's been a very slow process. Um, astrology is something that I started because I love it. I've always been into it. I would always read my horoscopes and all of that. But I didn't really get into full-blown studying astrology until two years ago. And, um, and it, I say it's been a slow process because I am very much in love with the tarot cards. I love to read tarot. It just comes easier to me. <laughs> When I study astrology, I have to be completely in the mindset. I like to bring out all of my stuff and I just have a very studious approach to studying astrology. Um, so in my playlist, you guys can find, um, I think I put a video on like how I um, map the transits of the planets, like the current planet transits with my birth chart. Mm. And some, there were, I think there's a couple other videos in there. So check that video out or those videos out if you're looking to study astrology too. This is not a <laughs> this is not a video where I teach you guys astrology because I'm not I'm not there. Um, I'm simply doing it for my own personal um, benefit because I love astrology and I find it fascinating. I find it completely accurate, and I think it's just fun to add into the flavor of tarot reading, um, and it's just something that I love to do. So I wanted to kind of just do a video where I kind of talked about how I study and what, what course materials I've been using and books that I've been doing and, and all of that to give you guys who are watching an idea of maybe you're interested in learning astrology and you don't really know how to start. Um, I will say I've been all over the place with my studies. I also will say um, I have invested a nice chunk of money into my studies because I did purchase a couple courses. I want to say I purchased maybe about five online courses. Um, and, and then of course I pay to have my course materials printed out because I like to have physical papers to read and to make notes and stuff. So it all is an investment. Um, so if you're learn if you're wanting to learn astrology and there's no way for you to take an actual class, which I think that would be so much fun to like attend an astrology class in person. Um, but unfortunately there aren't any around me, um, then online is the way to go. But also if you like to print out the course materials, just get ready to have to pay a nice pretty penny for it. <laughs> All right, let's talk about the, the books. So when I'm learning tarot, or t uh, this isn't tarot, when I'm learning astrology, um, I, you have to have a book, at least one. You don't need to have multiples, but these are the, the books that I really, really, really enjoy. So the first one is the only astrology book you will ever need. Um, as you can see, I have my little post-it notes here from all of my things. This is a really, really good astrology book. I got mine, um, off of Amazon and... It taps into everything pretty much. You can go really in detail with it. And it just it just has a really good um, flavor to it. Um, let's see, I have highlighted stuff. Um, so it's a book I highly recommend. Whenever anyone asks me what astrology book would I recommend, the only astrology book you'll ever need is the one that I always say, check it out. Um, it's a really good book. So <laughs> this one. Um, but surprisingly, I also really enjoy The Complete Idiot's Guide to Astrology. This is the fourth edition. I also purchased this off of Amazon. Um, these are really good, and I will say it again. These are really good. Um, I have a Idiot's Guide to Tarot, and I just find it to be really full of information. Um, so I really enjoy The Idiot's Guide to Astrology. So if you're looking for a book that doesn't cost a lot, these are pretty cheap on Amazon. And what I like to do when I buy astrology books is I like to look up like 
my placements so my birth chart like my sun in Pisces or my moon in cancer that's like the first thing that I do with um, astrology books is I will look up my placements in the book and then I go and highlight them all so that I have an easy access to them so as I'm going through the book anything that is highlighted in green is my stuff um, so it just makes it easier so that when I'm looking for something it's there or also another tip is you could like tab the pages so put some post-it notes on the pages that have you know information about you so that you can go to it really quickly um so that's like another tip too when it comes to astrology books is when you're learning astrology i have found it very 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 beneficial to learn your chart first um, I know we want to jump into it and learn other people's charts and this and that, but learn yours first. Practice with your chart um, because when you perfect your chart, um, not only will you become familiar with how to read the chart and like some of the placements and all of that, but then you can dive into someone else's and maybe someone has like a similar transit than like that you do and then you can kind of use that to your benefit. You know what I mean? So if you're completely new to astrology, first thing is get a good astrology book, um, pull up your birth chart online so you can, there's like free birth chart calculators. I like to use cafeastrology.com um, and you plug in your information. So in order to have a birth chart that to, to calculate all of your birth chart with accuracy, you need your birth date the time of your birth and the location of your birth location meaning the city and the state or the country the where you were born <laughs> and an approximate time the most accurate your time that you have is the most accurate your chart will be especially for the rising sign if you don't know the time of your birth um i mean ask your mom ask you know look at your birth certificate um, but if you absolutely do not know, then I'm sure that there are ways that you can go around it. Like I usually, like if I have a friend that wants me to look up their chart and they don't know when they're born, um, what time they were born, I usually put noon, like 12 o'clock noon, generally speaking. But then I tell them your rising sign may not be accurate and your moon may not be accurate. Um, but <clears throat> if you want a more accurate chart, you got to know, you got to know that the, the time of birth and your location. Um, so, and then, so you have your birth chart and then you have your book and you can pretty much study astrology just with those two tools. Um, and then as you further and like, as you get further along with your, with your astrology studies, you could start, you know, diving into specifics. Like I went through a phase where I was totally into the moon transit. So I was only looking at my moon sign and, you know, the, just seeing where the moon was at like each month and how it, how it how it meshed with me um i took a course for that that was really fun um and then you know you can look at like your jupiter or you can look at your saturn like you can kind of dissect it after that um but i find that ha always having my birth chart as like the first thing that i dissect and i get it that helps me understand things a little bit better and then i can like i started to dissect my husband's chart and then like I'll look at my friends charts if they let me um, and you know I, I'm starting to find myself being able to <laughs> come to more intuitive conclusions when I read their charts and it makes it a lot easier but I would say if you're starting from scratch completely start with your chart first but that's just my opinion take it or leave it so um, the second book I would highly recommend is the idiot's guide to astrology this is the fourth edition um, I don't know what the other editions are like or what they do and don't have but I that was the fourth one was the most recent one I think when I was looking at, at the time I've had this book for a couple years now so there might be a fifth edition I don't know but I like it I really enjoy the book <sighs> sorry guys I gotta drink water because I'm thirsty um okay a couple other books that <clears throat> are to me when you get a little bit more like okay I don't consider myself a beginner astrology student anymore <laughs> um, because I have mastered my birth chart and I feel like I'm at the point now where 
Um, I'm ready to dissect other people's charts and um, also dissect more so the transits of the day. Um, so I'm, I'm not quite a beginner anymore. Um, so because of that, I started diving into other things. Tarot and Astrology is another book I, I have that I recommend. This is a really old one. <laughs> this copyright, let me see. This was in a donation bin at one of the libraries I worked at, by the way. Um, this was copyright 1941. So this is an old book. <laughs> um, I have a more updated tarot and astrology book, but I don't want to look for it. It's not on my shelf at the moment. Um, but this one is the same. Like it had the same signs. So what I did, because I'm a tarot reader, I have a deck of tarot cards. And what I did was I used the book because the book will tell you um, the astrology signs for each of the tarot cards. So I went through with a deck of cards and I wrote out the astrology symbol for each card. So like the fool is Uranus, the magician is um, Mercury. And so that has helped me because I read tarot and I already know what the tarot means. Seeing the astrology signs for the cards has helped me make that connection and that's where I had my, oh, that's what Mercury and Aquarius means because it's like associated with the tarot. So um, like the, the minor arcanas are more of like, this is Jupiter and Capricorn. This is Mars and Capricorn. So it, it helped me to see how or what the transits mean um, by looking at the tarot cards side by side. So if you guys are a tarot reader, but you don't read astrology or you want to learn astrology, this might help you. Um, and I, this is actually what I've been teaching in my tarot course. Um, even though my students are there to learn tarot, I still, for every card that we study, I tell them what the um, astrological transit is for each card so that they have it to study further because some of my students are into astrology as well. So it was just like a little bonus. I'm not teaching them what the astrology meanings are, but I am giving that information to them because maybe it'll help them. Um, so I have a tarot and astrology book and the amazing thing about the book is that it goes through each of the cards. So like for example, we have Emperor, which is Aries. So it'll have the emperor, it'll tell you a little bit about the Aries sign, the placement, blah, blah, blah. And then it'll tell you like a positive and a negative of the card. So it's kind of like having a tarot book, but also it talks about the astrological signs too. So it's really a really cool book. This one's my old little baby. <laughs> like I said, it was in a donation bin at my one of my jobs. Um, I work at libraries, so <laughs> I'm always picking up old books in donation bins it's so amazing and when i found that one i was like holy shit like that's what i need so um another tip is adding um the tarot cards to your astrology studies if you're already a tarot reader and you and maybe it'll help you making that those astrological connections Another book um, that I recommend is Astrology for the Soul. So like I said, if you're already, if you're already like past the beginner phase and you're ready to like focus on certain transits, this one, this book specifically talks about the North Node. Um, so the North Node is like your soul's purpose, your life purpose. Um, so it talks about the North Node. And once you figure out what your North Node is, then you also know what your South Node is. And you can use this book to figure it out and learn a shit ton about yourself. So um, I'm really loving this book. I still haven't finished my, um, like I go, I'm literally going through it and highlighting. I love to highlight books. Um, but I was reading about mine and then I was reading about my husband. So he's highlighted in blue <laughs> and then I'm in pink. So um, it's just a really, really good book. So if you want to know about your life purpose and you're like already like more into astrology and you kind of want to dive into certain like I said, certain transits, so that's the North Node stuff, there's a specific book for it. Or if you want to learn more about your Saturn, there's probably a specific book for it. Um, and your moon, like I have a moon sign book. Let me get it. Ugh. Okay, so my moon sign 
This is another old book. I found this one in a used bookstore. It's Sarah by Sarah Fenton. It's Moon Signs. Discover the hidden power of your emotions. So this old deliciousness, um, let me see, copyright 1987. So not that old. It's actually a year younger than me. <laughs> but um, this one talks about like your, my little mama Mary. Um, it talks about your moon signs. So like I said, I was going through a heavy moon phase, like looking at the cycles and stuff. And um, your moon sign will tell you so much about yourself. But because the moon is constantly in motion, like really much more faster, it goes around the earth a lot faster than it does um, other planets. The moon will switch signs like every two or three days. So like mapping out the transits of the moon is probably the best, the next best thing to do once you get a handle on your birth chart. So just a little tip. Okay, so online courses. Um, one of the first um, online astrology courses that I bought <laughs> um, was by Benabel Wen. Now, Benabel, the last time I looked at Benabel Wen's website, she did not have the astrology course available. So I don't know if she's updating it or if she took it down because she's no longer selling it. But um, she has an astrology course where it was a go at your own pace astrology course. And it comes with fucking amazing workbooks. So this is volume one. It's like a nice chunky work workbook, literally. Like this thing is 300 pages. Um, and it's just jam packed with worksheets. Um, and it's so good. It is so good. So volume one is more of like, we're talking about the fire air signs. You're mapping out things. Um, and then volume two, which is even bigger. I think this is 500 pages. Um, she goes into detail about each of the signs and the partnerships and the houses and all of that stuff. So I have done a good portion of it, like the worksheet parts. <laughs> um, it's just so good. It's so good. She also puts like scenarios and other people's charts. So you're not just reading your own chart. You're also reading like other people's charts and getting comfortable with that. So her workbooks were, um, I think I paid like, I don't know, 50 bucks to have this stuff printed and bound. I also had a coupon. So my coupon took out a chunk of that money. So it probably would have been more money. But um, like I said, you're going to invest if you do online courses because a lot of the materials are PDF, you know, downloads. And depending on how you are, if you like to just look at it from the computer, cool. But like I said, I'm one of those people that I love to have the physical. And so you'll invest in purchasing the materials and then of course printing it. So I have these amazing workbooks now for that and they're so good. Um, even when I'm doing a course that isn't Benabelle's, um, I'm still pulling out her workbooks because they're filled with so much information. And this is, so I also recommend, because Benabelle for her course, she recommends that you have a specific astrology journal um, and you'll build your own as you're going through her course. And that's exactly what this is. So in one of my videos, I think I actually went through and like showed you guys what was in my astrology journal. I'm not going to do that for this video. Just go look at the other one. But basically, make sure none of my personal information. <laughs> but basically, um, you're going to be printing out your birth chart. Benabel actually gives you a, um, um, a copy of your birth chart and stuff. And then so you can make extra copies if you want of it which is on, let me hide my stuff, which is on this, okay? So this is one of my, my birth charts. Or you could do your own. Um, but I also have since, like, I've looked up my birth chart on other websites, and then I'll print it out. And so that's, like, another tip I have is um, print out your birth chart, you guys. They're free. I mean, you can buy your birth chart from, you know, an astrologer, and they'll do it for you. So I've had an astrology reading done by One Love Astrology. She's so amazing, um, by Diana. And um, she's really good, um, but her reading was audio, so I listened to it. And it wasn't a physical, like, reading, you know? So if you want a physical reading, which I think we all should if you're into this stuff, 
um, you can go to the website. So I think this one, astrocharts.com, astro-charts.com. And I think this one I, you pay like, I don't know, 10 bucks or something and they give you a whole printout of your birth chart and it's lots of information. So I have all of that and um, it's a beautiful little chart for me. <laughs> So I think you have to have an appreciation for this stuff to want to pay for it and have it. So if you're like me, you'll you'll pay it. You'll pay the little fee for it and stuff. Um, another cool thing that Benabel did was for her course, she gave me a printout of all of the astros, like the asteroids, um, and like the different things that were around at the time I was born, which is pretty cool because. I think that's more of like like getting really into astrology when you start looking at the asteroids. Um, I haven't gotten there yet, but at least I know that once I'm there, it's I have a list. So that's pretty cool. That was part of her course. Um, and so I say get a journal or like a binder. So you could put all of your stuff in there and have like everything. You could have your notes because you're gonna be taking a lot of notes. And then also don't be afraid to print out stuff from online. So I would go through like in Google, you know, the Zodiac or Google like the houses. And then I would just print stuff. Like when I was bored at work, I would print this stuff and I put it in my own, um, my own journal. And I have retrogrades, so I would went through and took notes on all the retrograde planets and stuff. Um, so don't be afraid to to print things off the internet, you know, and add it to your journal because you will eventually have this deliciousness of astrology. And <laughs> that's like one of the one binders that I pull out when I'm studying. Okay, so the other courses that I've signed up for. One of them was in here. One of them was a moon. It was like a lunar phase course. Um, and then the other ones are ones I just, I literally just purchased to, today. Um, so it's called Make Astrology. No, that's the second one. So this is ugh, the second binder that I have with the new course that I just printed out. Um, so I have my beautiful chart here. <laughs> and this course is get started with predictive astrology. So this is not a beginner course. This is more of like learning how to read the transits, learning how to read the moon transiting your, your chart and you know all the daily transits and all that stuff. So I was like, that's exactly what I needed when I was looking for an astrology course because I'm already beyond the, this is what Aries means. This is what Pisces means. Like I already know that, I know that now. <laughs> Now I wanna learn the transits and the Mercury retrogrades and like, you know, all that good stuff. So in her course, this is by um, the Dark Pixie Astrology. I have a whole thing of transits, which I'm so excited because that's exactly what I was looking for. So planetary movements and aspect interpretations. Um, so that's like, that is exactly what I was looking for when I was looking for a course. So I can't wait to dive into it. And then she also has Understanding Transit Boot Camp. So this is where you like really dive into all of that kind of stuff. So her course comes with um, two or three videos that you watch um, that will explain different sections of the course. And it's a work at your own pace course. So you just do it whenever you want. Put it away when you're not into it anymore and then bring it back out you'll always have access to the videos and stuff. So I like courses like that because I don't feel pressured to have to learn things and cram it all in right away. Um, so a work at your own pace course, especially when it's for astrology is a big one. I think that's just a better helpful, much more convenient way to approach a course. Um, unless of course you're doing it in person, then I think it's like probably in-person astrology classes would be fun because you're mingling with other people, you know? So I hope to be able to take one of those one day, but no one's done one. <laughs> no one's done one. So I really like this binder. It's like purple, like lavender. 
um, yeah. So that's my transits binder. And then the other part of the course, cause she, um, when you bought one of them, the other one was at a discount. So literally for $5, I was able to get make, astro make astrology predictions. So you're learning how to do it and then you actually make it. And then this is like, you dive into the progressions and stuff like that. So this is planet and house placements and aspect interpretations with progressions. So that was like the other, this is like the more advanced stuff that um, I somewhat am familiar, like I charted my moon progression, um, but I don't know a lot about it. So I'm excited to be able to dive into that. So it's nice to know that those courses are there and I have it now so I can dive into it when I feel like I'm ready to get studious with the Astros. Um, but yeah, you guys, I just wanted to share that because I feel on fire right now because I am getting into astrology more so. Um, I follow some really cool astrology YouTubes. I also follow some really cool, amazing people on Instagram that are into astrology. And I just find it fascinating and it's a nice breath of fresh air when I need a break from tarot because I love tarot. Tarot is my thing. Um... But to study something different and not be completely 100% 24-7 into tarot, it's just nice. So um, that's exciting. <laughs> okay, you guys. So I just wanted to get on here and share that with you. Um, if you guys are studying astrology or if you have other tips or like ways or things or books you recommend, please leave them in the comments. I would love to hear. Um, and share with me your astrology study experiences. And anyways, I will be going now and I will talk to you guys later. Bye loves.